Hi, all fellow researchers. I'm very glad to meet all of you on Glovento Conference. I'm very delightful to share my research with all of you. My name is He Liu, a PhD candidate of University of Malaya. My major is Media and Communication Studies. I'm from Faculty of Arts and Social Sciences. And the research I will present today is named "TikTok Engagement for Better Subjective Well-Being Among Drifting Elderly in China: Social Capital Conversion Between Online and Offline." The contents include the following parts: China's urban migration. Has entered a new stage of family mi migration. Entrenched Confucianism and filial piety tradition has led to a new pattern of migration named later life migration. So, our target population is older migrants following adult children or named drifting elderly. They are all aged 50 and above. Maintain their household registration in hometowns, and relocate with their adult children to developed urban areas to take care of grandchildren or reunion with family in retirement. However, disposal from the original supportive networks, resettlement stress, and restrictions of who calls system has led to their poor subjective well-being. Meanwhile, they are living in a digital communication environment. So, we propose our general question that how digital communication technologies facilitate and mediate their later life migration journeys, both online and offline, and consequently influence their post migration well being. According to the previous study, social capital has been widely adopted as an effective theoretical tool to explain the relationship between social media usage and older migrants' life satisfaction. However, they neglected the influence of short video apps. Which are increasingly popular among older adults and migrants. So we focus on TikTok engagement among this group, which are treated as a higher order construct with three subdimensions, including consuming, participation, and production. Moreover, they Also overlooked the distinction and conversion between online and offline social capital. This image displays the social capital structure for later life, life migration in the context of TikTok, including online and offline bonding social capital and online and offline bridging social capital. So. We formulated our conceptual framework from TikTok engagement to older migrants' subjective well-being, with the mechanism of the uh, accumulation of uh, uh, four subcategories of social capital. And to address how the question of how online and offline social capital transform affect their subjective Active well-being, we formulated three mediation paths. We adopted online convenience sampling to collect our data, and PLS4 to evaluate our data. This image displays the results of the structural equation model, and the table shows the four. Direct relationships. According our, to our results, seven direct relationships are supported in green, 
and three are unsupported in red. And among the three indirect effects, two are supported and one is unsupported. In summary, we have proved the insignificant direct effect of TikTok engagement on their subjective well-being, but we have demonstrated that TikTok engagement has exerted profound effect on reshaping the structure and nature of social connections after later life migration. More importantly, we this demonstrated that TikTok makes bridging social capital transferable and growable for better subjective well-being after migration among this group. Thanks for watching.